Today's video is brought to you by eWin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our eWin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Let me give advice to everybody watching. Yes. You should upgrade when your computer no longer does what you want it to. Correct. You should upgrade when you would like a zippier, faster, more responsive machine that responds to you, that gives you either snappier performance or quicker updates or more frames per second or better multitasking or whatever it is that you want your computer to do. My computer at home is an i9-9900K. That is a beast. And I do not think most people should upgrade an i9-9900K. You, you should wait. That's, a, that's an amazing CPU. And for the average typical user, for the middle 80% of PC users, even PC gamers, even AAA gamers, why on earth would you replace a 9900K? That's awesome. So that's what I'm about to do. But not, not for pure gaming. For multitasking on multiple monitors, and I am a heavy multitasker, yeah. and I routinely have my CPU pegged straight to 100% and it sits there, but I am not a typical user. Mm -hmm. So I should upgrade because my computer no longer meets my needs. You should upgrade when your computer no longer meets your needs. Mm -hmm. That kind of applies to everyone. It does. If your computer is doing what you want and you are happy with it, the cheapest computer you will ever buy is the one currently sitting on your desk. That, that's a deal. And if you're playing AAA games, why did you go 11400 Maybe it's what was in the store when he walked in? Well, he's got a Z590. That's, um... <laughs> Hugo Boss says if your computer doesn't make you go wee. But, you know, different people have different standards of we or fine. I get this comment all the time. Somebody actually commented to one of my community posts I made here on the YouTube channel yesterday, and they said, four cores is still fine for gaming and will be for years to come. Maybe it is for him. More power to you, dude. Minesweeper, eat your hat out. If four cores satisfies you in 2021, and four cores will be fine for years to come for your use case. His use case is not an 11400. What, not him, I'm just saying the person who commented. Oh. Why are you watching tech YouTube channels? You are so not into keeping up with any of this. I mean, I guess you, you're just doing it for fun, which is fine, welcome, hi, but why do you watch any of this if a four core chip is fine for the next several years. You just, you got off the bus and decided that cassette tapes were fine and CDs were unnecessary and you don't, you've never heard of an MP3, which is fine. There are people in the world today who refuse to buy a cell phone and my father's one of them. Okay. So he ended up with that 11400 because he's in Costa Rica because he's 7700K failed. So what could he take out and put in? An i7, I mean an i9 10850K? That's what he can, yeah, that's what I was thinking. He'll probably need a better cooler though. Yeah. And he needs a better graphics card. Whoa, yeah, he's working on that. Hopefully that helps, Ricardo. Thanks for the support, man. Keep in mind that when people ask these questions, and I know I get a lot of comments on YouTube from people who are, as he says, in a third world country, I give upgrade advice, buying advice, and pricing advice based upon the United States of America. I do not know parts availability or customary pricing in Zimbabwe. And I never will. I do not know what Argentina versus Venezuela versus Chile pays or costs or what is typical and normal and customary. I'm not trying to disparage anybody from those countries. More power to you. I understand you just want to have some fun and play with your computer stuff. That's great. But I do not know what anything costs in your country. I don't keep up with it. 
And when I answer questions and give advice, I think a lot of times is I'll give somebody an answer and they'll go, well, that's ridiculous. Do you know how much that costs? Yeah, it's $300. No, not in my country, it's $600. Well, I don't know that. I answered because it's 300 America. I, I can't help you, dude. It's, it's, it's hard enough keeping track of prices here and... All I can do is tell you what will be a nice upgrade. And then you've got to figure it out for where you live. Is it worth it to you an i5-11400 to an i9-10850K for AAA gaming with an RTX 3080? I, I think you'll be much happier with that 10850K, Ricardo. It would be a big upgrade. Yeah, and then come back and let us know how it goes. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.